Hi guys! Today we're going to talk about ternary diagram basics and you will be encountering a lot of this uh, when you're studying separation processes and you know unit operations. So if you already watched our previous video which is the liquid liquid extraction systems then you basically have an idea how to use the ternary diagram. No? But on this video we're going to explain a little further how to analyze and use the ternary diagram. So we're going to talk about the basics of ternary diagram. But before that, let us talk about the ternary system. So what is a ternary system? So I have here the basic definition of a ternary system. It is a physicochemical system consisting of three components. So basically, it is a physical chemical system, which is having three components. And examples of ternary systems with practical importance are metal alloys, molten salts, oxides or slugs, and sulfides, and systems of water and two salts with a common ion. Alright, and now let us talk about the basics of ternary diagram. Ternary diagram represents three component systems, which is what we call ternary system, and are conveniently presented as triangular diagrams, as what you can see down here where each side corresponds to an individual binary system. So, all of our sides here corresponds to a component. No? As we said earlier, in a ternary system, we have three components. So, those components are represented by each side of our triangles here. Okay, so for this video, we're going to use these variables, S, A, and B. Okay, so this is what we use also earlier in our example for liquid-liquid extraction. No? So our S represents the solute or component to be extracted. Our A is our diluent and B is our solvent. So as you can see, this is applicable to the liquid-liquid extraction that we have done earlier in the previous video. Okay, so now every tip of our triangle represents 100% of our component. So, what do we mean by that? So, we have here the tip of the triangle having our variable S, which is the solute. So, if the tip of our triangle here represents 100% uh, of S, then that means if you move away from this tip, our value of S is decreasing. No? Bumababa yung value ng ating solute as you go further dito sa ating triangle. So if this is on the, okay, this tip okay, so if this tip is 100% of S, okay? This is 100% of S. Then in here we have 90% of S, 80% of S, 70% of S, 60% of S, 50% of S. 40% of S and 30% of S, 20% of S, then 10% of S, then 0% of S, no? At this point. And of course, we can also express this in terms of mass fraction. So 90% means we have uh, 1.0, 90% means we have 0 0.9 mass fraction, 80% means we have 0 0.8, 70% 0 0.7, 60% is 0 0.6, 50% is 0 0.5, 40% is 0 0.4, 30% is 0 0.3, 20% is 0 0.2, and 10% is 0 0.1. Okay? So, it will be the same thing here when we are in our diluent A. So, in this tip, it means that we have 100% of A. And in terms of mo uh, mass fraction, this means we have 1.0 of A. Okay, so as we go further, okay, away from this tip of the triangle, the value of our A also decreases. So, Katulad ng ginawa natin dito sa ating solute, we are going to take the value of our A as we go further. So, here we have 
90%, which is also 0 0.9. We have 80%, which is also 0 0.8. 70%, which is also 0 0.7 then 60 percent which is also 0 0.6 50 percent which is also 0 0.5 40 percent which is also 0 0.4 then we have 30 percent which is 0 0.3 20 percent which is 0 0.2 then 10% um, which is 0 0.1 okay so dito zero ang ating a because we have 100% solute s okay then dito naman sa side ng ating triangle uh, this is the same but we are talking about our solvent b so here we have 100% of b which is 1.0 okay so that means here we have 90% which is also 0 0.9, 80% which is 0 0.8, 70% which is 0 0.7, 60% which is 0 0.6, 50% which is 0 0.5, 40% which is 0 0.4, 30% which is 0 0.3. Okay? Itong mga uh, decimals natin dito, this represents mass fraction, right? So, we have 20% which is 0 0.2 and then 10% which is 0 0.1. Okay? So, we now able to identify the values. Okay? That represents our components here in our ternary diagram. So, let us try to find out where is this no sa ating uh, ternary diagram here so we have uh, only two component here so that means we have 0% of b right so that is what we mean here so we have 0% of b because we only have 60 kg of solute and 40 kg of diluent a okay so that means we have here a total of 100 kilogram okay which means our s is 60 percent and our a is 40 percent by weight right okay so let us try to find out uh, kung saan ito sa ating ternary diagram so we have zero of b Okay, so that means it is somewhere here. Our A is 40%, so this is our line here, 40% of A. And then our S is 60%. So from here we have 60% of um, S. So as you can see here, the value of our A is decreasing as we go further, right? But the value of A is represented by this slanted lines right here so this represents a right these um, lines right here okay so that represents the value of a so that means on this diagram this is our a right and then the value of our s is represented by these horizontal lines here so these lines here represent our s as you can see uh, the value is decreasing as you move away from S and it will be on these horizontal lines. Okay, so that means for our S, which is 60%, it is somewhere here. Alright, so on this example, we are actually on this part of our ternary diagram because as you can see, the value of P is represented here by these lines, di ba? Ito naman yung nagre-represent sa ating B. Okay? And because we do not have B in our system, we have 0% of B, that is why it is lying on this um, side of our triangle. So we have 0 of B, 60% of S, and 40% um, of A. So this is how we use the ternary diagram. So, 
Now, let us try to solve another problem, no? And this time, we have three components present. So, sinulat na natin dito yung mass fractions natin. So, this is the mass fractions of solute. And here is the mass fraction of diluent. And at the bottom is the mass fraction of solvent B. Okay, so the same as what we did earlier, we need to get the total weight. So we have 60 plus 40 plus 100. That means we have a total of 200 kilogram okay, in our system. So based from this, we need to get the mass fraction of our S, A, and B. Okay, so let us try to use a calculator para mas maging visible yung calculations natin. Ano? So, we have 60 divided by 200, which is equal to 0 0.3. Right? Then, we have um, 40 divided by 200, which is equal to 0 0.2. And, of course, 100 over 200 is equal to 0 0.5. So, this is um, the mass fractions of S, which is 0 0.3, mass fraction of A, which is 0 0.2, and the mass fraction of B, which is 0 0.5. Now, let us try to locate that here in our um, ternary diagram. So, first, we have our S, which is having a mass fraction of 0 0.3. Okay, so in here, uh, this is the side that is representing the mass fraction of our solute. And as per this uh, calculation here, the mass fraction of S is 0 0.3. So it is here. And this horizontal line represents our solute. So our solute S is having this value in our ternary diagram. And now for our A, okay, we have 0 0.2 okay, mass fraction of A. So, this is the mass fractions for A. And we know that A is represented by these um, slanted lines right here, okay? So, we have 0 0.2 of A, so that will be from here. And we know that this line represents A, so therefore, we have our A right here. Okay, so now we have our B, which is 0 0.5, okay? So, we know that this lines right here represents our B. So, that means in here, this is our point B, 0 0.5. And wherever these three lines intersect, that represents our ternary systems here. So, this is where our system for this condition. Okay, so this is basically how we use the ternary diagram. No? And as I said earlier, you will be encountering this and will be using a lot of this when you start um, studying um, separation processes and unit operations. So I hope this helps. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.